I'm just going to show you. So you go to the R. And so let's get the R here. And then my W, which is my white wire. And that alligator clip doesn't cooperate sometimes. There we go. So we know that it turned on because my inducer draft motor turned on. But I just wanted to show you that's how you would do it if you were to um, jump rid. But you want the thermostat to do that, obviously. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to system and let's go to mode heating right there. So look what it's doing, okay? That inducer draft motor first turns on. The pressure switch is like, hey, I'm sensing a negative pressure from here. That's great. And then it checks all your safeties. But I, the, the, the reason why I'm doing this again, I want you to see. You see that hot surface igniter is turning cherry red. Cherry red. So it's going to spark right now. It's going to spark the flames. Okay. Give it a second. There we go. We got flames. Right. And... And also, too, before the blower motor turns on, it takes about a couple of seconds, maybe 30 seconds, a minute, for that chamber in there to get kind of hot, and then the blower motor turns on. But let's go ahead and show you the first step. So the first step was call for heating, right? So how do we, how do we know we have a call for heating? Well, we can check right here, right? 